Hello guys, welcome to CAD Academy. So basically we have designed this part as well as this part of the stapler in our previous tutorials. Now in this tutorial we are going to design this part. If you are not seen the tutorial and if you want to see the tutorial you can just click here on I button. So let's start with designing the part. So let me show you the part first. So this is the part what we are going to design of the stapler. As you can see here, a circular build has been given and a sheet of 1 mm thickness has been used over here. So this has been designed in generative sheet metal design and you can also unfold this structure and grab the dimension from here. So let's start with designing. So now you need to go to mechanical design and again to generative sheet metal design you can rename your part. So I will just rename this as the third part and then click here on OK. Now again we need to provide the sheet metal parameters as we have defined in earlier video. So the thickness of the sheet is 1 mm and uh, default blend ra bend radius is 0.5 mm. Okay now we need to make a wall over here. For that we will select the sketch command and select any of the planes. Select the XY plane and make, make a rectangle of 90 by 14. Symmetrical rectangle. So for this make a rectangle and double click on this constraint command and just provide constraint to each side ok now just provide the dimension of 90 mm over here this is 14 mm as well as this is 7 mm now click here on exit and now this is the wall command click here on wall command and click here on ok now you need to provide the flange so for that select the flange command this is the flange command select the flange command and select here from the bottom now we need to provide the flange of 12 mm so let's type over here 12 and select the bottom edge now click here on ok again we need to provide this at another edge so select the another edge and click here on ok now we need to provide a cutout so select the cutout command and select this sketch icon and after that select this plane ok now select this polyline and make a rectangle like shape over here ok now select here again constraint command and coincide this with this now assign the value here of 10 mm also coincide this with this age ok now you can click here on exit and you can click here on preview Ok wait a minute, just added this sketch. And just delete this constraint command and make it constraint with this X. Ok, now you click here on exit, click here on preview and ok, as you can see. Now select the extrusion command over here, so for that select this extrusion command and select this sketch command and then any of the plane over here. Now click here on normal view and again make a line over here. Again. Select the constraint command and consult this with this line. Now you can click here on exit and you can just manipulate the values over here. So let this be 8 mm. Ok, 
make it 10 mm. Let this be 10 mm. Click here on OK. Now do this extrusion at another side too. So for that again select the profile, select the sketch icon, again select this plane as well as click here on hidden icon and uh, click here on project. Now select this line and click here on mirror command and mirror it with this plane. Now you can delete this line. Click here on delete as well as delete this line too. Now you can click here on exit command and uh, Click here on invert material side and then OK. OK. Now select the cutout command over here. OK. And then select this sketch icon. Again select this plane and make a circle over here. Select this circle command. Make a circle of 10 mm diameter. Now this circle will be 2 mm apart from this axis. Also this distance is 7 mm apart. Now select the polyline command over here and you need to select you need to make a point over here and make a polyline. Now make a rectangle over here. Follow the steps as I follow, as I do. Okay, now press here on escape. Now select their constraint command and provide the constraint from this axis of 10 mm. Okay. Now select the trim command, quick trim command and trim this. That's it. You can click here on exit command and you can click here on preview. So this is the shape we are getting. Now again, we need to make a cutout here. So again select this uh, sketch icon and again select this plane as well as make a circle again over here of 3 mm diameter. So provide the diameter of 3 mm and also we need to provide the distance from axis or as well as origin. So from the origin this is 7 mm and uh, this is 2 mm from the origin. Now you can click here on exit and then ok so as you can see this is our third part which have been made you can just save this part and we will assemble the part ok i have already saved the part so i will go to now mechanical design and then assembly design now here you can click here on existing component click here on existing component and then product and as we know that we have already assembled Okay, just open the product over here. Click here on open. And this is the product. Click here on open. So as we as we know that we have designed this product in our previous two tutorials, so now we will just assemble another part over here so click here on existing component and select this product one now we have made the third part so click here on open and select this manipulation command now we need to drag this along the z-axis so drag that along z-axis and also rotate that along the x-axis just rotate the figure like this Ok, now click here on OK and uh, select this coincident constraint, select this axis as well as this axis and click here on a coincide, where is the coincide icon, ok, click here on update. So as you can see the assemble, assembly has been done, you can just manipulate this by clicking on manipulation command and then select this. So as you can see, 
this has been the sheet metal process has been done now we need to assign a spring mechanism over here also a spring mechanism in this which will just press the pins toward this surface so we will continue in next tutorial till that thank you